Chapter 7 will cover the Pulse Width Modulation Module and the Quadrature Encoder Interface Module. Both of these are critical for motion control. Pulse Width Modulation, or PWM, is a widely used technique to digitally encode analog levels. High resolution counters are used to generate a square wave of a given frequency and the duty cycle of that wave is then modulated to encode the analog signal. PWM is typically found in motor control, servo positioning, lighting, and switching power supply applications. The TM4C1294 NCPDT microcontroller has one PWM module. This module has four PWM generator blocks and a control block which determines the polarity of the signals and which of the signals are multiplexed to the pins. Each PWM generator produces two independent output signals of the same frequency or a pair of complementary signals with deadband generation. Deadband generation is critical for H-bridge circuitry protection. Four generators with two output signals each is a total of eight outputs or four complementary pairs. Each PWM generator also has four hardware fault inputs for low latency shutdown and protection of the motor that's under control. Each generator's timing is based on a single 16-bit counter. This 16-bit counter has down or up-down count modes and an output frequency that's controlled by a 16-bit load value. These load values can be synchronously updated across the generators. Output signals are produced at zero and the load value. Additionally, each PWM generator has the PWM comparators, a PWM signal generator, a deadband generator, and can directly initiate an ADC sample sequence. The PWM control block has the following options. PWM output enable of each signal with optional output inversion. Optional fault handling for each signal. Synchronization of the timers across the generator blocks and synchronization of the timer and comparator updates across the blocks. The PWM control block generates an interrupt status summary across the blocks and has extended fault handling with multiple fault signals. The generators can be operated independently or they can be synchronized together. Note the control and status, interrupt and output control registers shown on the left. All four PWM generators go through the output control block before reaching the pins. The PWM module contains four generators. Note the control, timer, and comparator control registers on the left. For our lab, we'll be primarily interested in the control, load, and count registers. The QEI module interprets the signals created by a quadrature encoder wheel to integrate position over time and determine the velocity of rotation. It also creates a running estimate of the encoder wheel's velocity. The microcontroller has a single QEI module with a position integrator that tracks the encoder position and has programmable noise filters on its inputs. Velocity capture is accomplished using a built-in timer in the module. Position, velocity, and timer registers are all 32 bits. The QEI input rate may be as high as one-fourth of the processor frequency or as high as 30 megahertz. Interrupts can be generated on an index pulse, a velocity timer expiration, a direction change, or a quadrature error detection. Quadrature encoding is often used on motors and conveyor belts. On the left, note the A and B inputs. There's also an index input that can be used to reset the position counter when you're tracking longer events like conveyor belts. In Lab 7, we'll experiment with the PWM. Unfortunately, the servo connector on the educational booster pack does not connect to a PWM output on the connected launch pad. Instead, we'll configure the PWM output, frequency, and duty cycle to control the illumination of the blue LED on the booster pack. 